The Pentagon is under increasing pressure to reduce sexual assaults in the military, and eyes have been on the Air Force Academy. A new report released today shows a decrease in the number of reported sexual assaults at the Academy in Colorado Springs. KRDO News Channel 13's Bonnie Silkman took a closer look at the new information and heard from TESSA leaders about the results. New information from the Pentagon shows that the number of sexual assault reports at the academy dropped from 45 in 2013 to 27 last year. Hopefully there are less sexual assaults occurring and that it's not the case where less people are feeling safe to come forward and report. The number of women experiencing unwanted sexual contact also dropped slightly from 11% to 10%. Data shows the Academy still has the highest number of reported sexual assaults for the academic year. We have worked with the Air Force Academy, Fort Carson, Colorado, as far as sexual assault goes, one in four women in their lifetime will be impacted and one in 17 men, and that rate is actually higher than the national average. In this annual report, retaliation was looked at for the very first time. If that first response is negative, what tends to happen is that individual is more likely to develop mental health complications like post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, and depression. The survey found that more than 40% of students who said they experienced unwanted sexual contact also said they faced retaliation, either from their leadership or from other cadets. If there's that negative response, they are less likely to report anything in the future. So it's really, really important that whomever is the first responder in these situations when someone is disclosing sexual violence, that they listen to them, believe them, and provide them the support necessary. In Colorado Springs, Bonnie Sulkman, KRDO News Channel 13. If you'd like to read the full report released by the Pentagon today, we've posted it on our website, krdo.com.